Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at Form 1 Mathematics, Chapter 6, Linear Equations. This is the part where we need to solve the simultaneous linear equations. So simultaneous linear equation here means that we have two linear equations of the same unknowns. So in order to solve this simultaneous linear equation, the first thing we do, we need to label. We label the equation, we, I label this as number 1, label this as number 2. It doesn't matter which one is number 1, which one is number 2. I take one of the equations, let's say from 1, from equation number 1. I'll try to form either, it's like x equals, as x as a subject, so it means x equals to something, with a y inside here, or I form y as a subject, and then x here, with the values. So, so I pick whichever is easier for me, so for this, I'm going to choose this, I'm going to let y equals to something. So from equals, equation number 1, okay, so I rewrite the equation number 1, I want y to be the subject, I want y here to be the subject, I move the rest to the right hand side, so I get negative y equals to 6, positive 4x becomes minus 4x, negative. And then negative, if I move, becomes y equals to negative 6 plus 4x. This will be my equation number 3. After I get the equation number 3, since this is coming from equation 1, I will substitute this into equation number 2. So I will substitute y equals to negative 6 plus 4x into equation number 2. So I write substitute equation 3 into 2. Meaning that the y here will be replaced by this y which will be replaced by negative 6 plus 4x. So 5x plus 2y means plus 2 and the y here is being replaced with this. So I use the brackets, always use the brackets when substituting a value and then equals to 1 equals to 1 so what we are going we are doing now is that we change the unknown y into unknown x so now the whole equation only have one unknown which is x then we can solve the equation so i simplified it 2 times 6 2 times 6 is 12 2 times positive 4 is positive 8, eight. I move this here, I get 5x plus 5, 8x equals to 1 plus 12, so I get over 13 which is equals to 1. But we are not done yet, because we still have the y. So we substitute x in, equals to 1 into any of the equations here, any one. Of course, the easiest one is 3 here, because if we substitute 1 here, we can straight away get the value. So, into 3. So, y equals to negative 6 plus 4, and the x here, now is being replaced with 1, becomes a 1, and then negative 6 plus 4, you get negative 2. So, you rewrite the answer, x equals to 1, so, x equals to 1, y equals to negative 2. Now we go to question B. 5a plus 2b equals to 9. 3a minus 2b equals to 15. Again, first we just label this equation 1, equation 2. So we can take any equation. Let's say I take 1 from 1. I'll try to find the subject a as a subject or b as a subject. It doesn't matter which one. So I take from 1. 5a plus 2b equals to 9. So if I'm taking 5 as a subject, I'll have to move this here. You get 5a equals to 9 minus 2b. So a equals to 9 minus 2b over 5. Let this equation number 3. So now we substitute 3. Since this equation comes from 1, we substitute 3 into the next equation, which is 2, into meaning that the a now in the equation number 2 has been replaced with this a which has been replaced with 9 minus 2b over 5 
So here we rewrite, we get 3. So the a here already being replaced with this, so it becomes 9 minus 2b over 5. Again, use the brackets always. Now since it only has one unknown, we can try to solve it. To get rid of this 5 as a fraction, I just multiply the whole equation with 5. Multiply here the whole equation. So 5 times this, you get 5 and 5, you cancel off, so you get 3, 9 minus 2b. And then 5 times negative 2, I get negative 10. 5 times 15, I get 75. Then I get this. So after we get b equals to negative 3, we substitute b equals negative 3 into one of these equations. So the easiest one would be equation number 3. So a equals, a equals 9 minus 2, negative 3 over 5. to negative 3. Question C, y equals to x plus 2. So I let this 1, 2x plus y equals to 11. I let this equation number 2. Since, you see, equation 1 is already in the form where y is a subject of x. So we don't have to rearrange this uh, equation to get equation number 3. We can straight away substitute 1 into 2 since y is already the subject so meaning here this x plus 2 can be substituted into equation number 2 so you can get 2x plus so this one is being replaced by x plus 2 equals to 11 so 2x plus x plus 2 equals to 11 3x plus 2 equals to 11 so I move here 3x equals to 11 minus 2 9 so you get 9 over 3, which is 3. And then we substitute 3x equals to 3 into, back into equation number 1. So you get y equals to 3 plus 2. y equals to 5. So x equals to 3, y equals to 5. The last question, x minus 2y equals to 6. And 2x over 3 minus 1 equals to negative 5y over 3. So if we let this equation number 1, this equation number 2, so from 1, I take x as a subject, so I move negative 2y here, so I get, so I rewrite the equation, so x equals to 6 plus 2y. This will be my equation number 3, I'll substitute this into equation number 2. So substitute equation 3 into 2. So here, 2, 6 plus 2y. So remember always to use the brackets. 3 minus 1 equals to negative 5y over 3. In order to get rid of the 3 uh, fractions, we can multiply all the terms with 3. So 3 over 3, we'll cancel off each other, you get this. 3 times negative 1, it must multiply all the terms here. 3 times negative 1, you get negative 3. 3 times negative 5y over 3, 3 and the 3 cancel off, so you get negative 5y. I simplify this, I get 12 plus 4y minus 3 equals to negative 5y. I gather all the y's here. So I get 4y, this I move here, I get positive 5y. The 12, I move to here, I get negative 12. Negative 3, move here, I get positive 3. 4y plus 5y is 9y. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9, so y equals to, I move the 9 here, I get negative 9 over 9, which is negative 1.
and so I substitute y equals negative 1 into equation number 1 here equation number 1 I'll get x equal x minus 2 negative 1 equals 6 so I solve this I'll get x equals to this is negative 2 times negative 1 becomes a positive 2 I move here it gets negative 2 so I get 4 so conclusion y equals to negative 1 x equals to 4 so that's all for today thank you for watching